Hello, hello, it is Coach Chelsea here, and today I wanted to talk about something that stops most people before they even get going into their workout program or into coaching, and that would be the start. It's the start that stops most people, okay? And so I want to give you a few tips on how to avoid getting stopped while you're trying to start, okay? All right, so... First and foremost, do not overcomplicate the start. Do not do it. Do not make some bis big massive deal about just starting. Just be clear that you're going to start and start, okay? Get moving. You do not have to be perfect with your workout or with your business. All you have to do is go. The action will create momentum and the momentum will keep you going. Um, it, you have to do something that immediately pushes you towards your goal. So you have to start. If you have an idea, you have to physically do something to commit yourself to that idea. Okay? Just like with your goals. If you have an idea to write something down to remember it later, write that item down. Okay? Embrace your imperfections. Okay? This is what people think is the hardest part about working out or starting your business is that you have to be perfect. You have to be at your goal or you have to be um, this great speaker or you have to be super athletic and it's not true. Embrace your imperfections and let them shine. That's what's going to be attractive for people to come to you and for people to want your help and to want to be around you. People don't want to be around Sally Homemaker Miss Perfect, do they? Pretty sure you don't, right? All right, and you need to set some proper expectations. You have to have a clear understanding of the time and commitment that it's going to take to reach your goal, to reach um, finishing a program, or to reach emerald or diamond in your business. You have to have a proper expectation for the amount of time, the amount of effort, and the amount of commitment that you're willing to give to whatever it is that you're, it is your goal. And last but not least, have a simple plan. If you're starting a new workout program, make sure you work out, make sure you drink your Shakeology, and make sure you're eating healthy throughout the day following the 80-20 rule. Not that hard. If you're trying to grow your business, it's following the three vital behaviors. It's making sure that your personal development is done. It's making sure that you are um, talking to people and trying to be an inspiration and add value and adding value to people's lives. That's what it takes. Have a simple plan. Three steps. Workout shake go and 80-20 rule or three vital behaviors. Simple plan. All right? So don't overcomplicate things. Get moving. Set proper expectations. Ex embrace imperfection and have a simple plan and get going. All right? 2016. Let's crush it. Woo-woo!